Hey there, I'm Tyler Lunsford and you're watching a review of The Other Brothers Bear. What is up you beautiful people, my name is Tyler Lunsford and welcome back to another magic trick review here on the channel. If you're new here then definitely consider subscribing by clicking the red button down there you can subscribe to the channel and if you click the bell you can turn on the post notifications for the channel and you will get notified every time I upload a new video. Now without further ado let's get right into the video. I would just like to point out that I did purchase this effect with my own money, so you are watching an unbiased magic trick review. First off, we need to talk about what actually is Bear. Well, Bear is an effect where you can basically reveal anything that you want to on your spectator skin or on your skin using salt, sugar, dirt, coffee, things like that. You rub it on your skin and you reveal something. It can be a card revelation, it could be a small little picture, it could be a couple letters, you know, like initials, anything like that. And I think it's really cool because it's pretty much a utility gimmick. You're, you're getting something that allows you to, in real time, if you would like, stamp your spectators or just have it set up on you ready to go. But you could, in real time, stamp your spectators with initials or a card revelation. And I think that if you're doing something that happens not only in the spectator's hands, but on the spectator's hands, uh, I think that could be really cool. Now if you purchase Bear, what will you receive? Well, you will get this package right here with instructions online and it's a video, the other brothers talk, it's about a 30 minute video, a little longer than 30 minutes actually, and they run through uh, different ways to perform this effect. They also teach you how to stamp your spectators and they talk about certain materials that you can use to reveal the actual uh, revelation on your spectator's skin. Now you will be receiving the gimmick which is a sharpie and I would say this is really good quality because I've had mine for two years now. I've had this since it came out in 2017 and my ink is still in perfect condition. I even tested it right before this video and put it on my skin and it still writes perfectly. It is totally okay so I would say that's a big positive that this can actually hold up for time. Did this fool me? Well this isn't really something that is going to fool you if you watch the demo because they tell you what it is. So you can pretty much figure it out. I mean, they, they tell you that you're getting a Sharpie with a special ink or fluid that allows you to reveal these things on the spectator's skin or on your skin. So no, it's not like it will fool you because if you watch the demo, they're going to tell you how it's done. But I think this will definitely fool your spectators. How difficult is this to perform? This is not difficult to perform at all, really. As long as you're comfortable with grabbing your spectator's hand, and I don't mean like reaching out and just grabbing it, but I mean, you just need to be comfortable in the action of being able to go over and gently, you know, you can put your hands on their hands. It's all it's all justified. Like you're not just being a creep and touching your spectator's hands. It's all justified, but you do need to be comfortable enough to make it seem like you're not doing anything when you pull their hands closer to the car that you're gonna put in it or whatnot. So I would say as long as you're comfortable with your audience and performing, this is not that difficult to do at all. Is this examinable? Well, yes, because they're not really going to examine the gimmick. The gimmick itself, they're never gonna, they're never gonna realize that that Sharpie that you're using is, is the method. They're not gonna do that. They will see the residue or the like fluid on their hand that has the sugar or salt or pepper on it, but they will not actually be able to tell, oh, he just stamped my hand with some ink. Like, once they rub it away, it's not like they can find anything. It really doesn't even feel that sticky. It's just something that can, that the pepper can attach to. Now the angles for this are really good because you could pretty much perform this surrounded because when you make the stamp in real time, you can hold it close to you and as long as you're aware there's people behind you, just hold it close to your chest when you're writing with the gimmick and they shouldn't be able to tell. So as long as you're aware of your audience, then I'm pretty sure you can make this work in a surrounded situation. How is the setup? Now, the setup happens, like I said, pretty much in real time during the actual effect. Now you can choose to set this up ahead of time if you just want to like force a card or force a name or something like that. You can do that without any setup in the actual routine. You can just set up, it'll take like 10 seconds to write whatever you want and then you can go into it. But if you want to set this up during the effect in real time, I think that would be a pretty powerful tool that you can do. Are there negatives to performing bare? Now, I would say that maybe you just need to make sure that you can get the stamp to work because 
while I can get it to work in the environment that I'm in, you may be performing somewhere else, like maybe you're performing in a human environment or where the ink dries up more easily. So just be aware of where you're performing and you should be fine. But yeah, I would say that a negative is that maybe you just need to be aware of your surroundings that you can't perform this everywhere because maybe the ink's gonna dry up too quickly on your hand or maybe it won't stamp properly. So as long as you're comfortable doing that, then you should be fine. Are there positives to performing bare? Yes, the ink, like I said, lasts. I mean, I've had this ever since it came out two years ago, and my ink is still in perfect condition, and I still have ink left. It's not like I've used it all. Now, if you're running through this all the time, then you'll probably have to replace it in the future, but for me, I, I still have plenty of ink. It's still, I kept it inside, so the ink is fine. It's not dried up, so yeah, that's a major positive for me. Another positive would be that the effect itself is just really cool because it can happen on the spectator's skin and it's a setup that happens in real time so I think that's a really cool addition to this effect. What should this retail as? Well this currently retails as 35 US dollars. I don't know if I can say what it should retail as because I don't know how much the ink costs to make. So $30 could have been good but the ink might be pricey so I don't want to like cheat the creator or anything like that so $35 is honestly not a bad price to pay for this because like I said it's lasted me for a while so you should be comfortable paying $35. Now should you pick this up? Well if you want to pick this up the link will be down below in the description but if should you? I mean yeah if you like effects that happen on the spectator or like a setup that happens in real time where you can stamp something. I mean, if you have them name initials and then those initials appear on their skin, that's a pretty powerful effect in my opinion. So if you're into this type of stuff, then I definitely recommend picking this up. That about does it for this review video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to help you make a more informed decision on whether or not you want to purchase Bear by the other brothers. I know that there is talks, and I'm pretty sure it's in the works actually, for a mini bear, like a pocket sized, like a keychain sharpie that can go in your pocket. So that's cool. I think that's gonna be coming out soon. So that would be really cool if you wanted to like just be able to carry something on your keychain. That'd be pretty awesome. But if you would like to purchase it, like I said, the link will be down below in the description. Once again, I purchased this with my own money, so you're watching an unbiased magic trick review. And I hope I see you in the next video. Remember, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.